Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, my dear class. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How about you? Are you feeling good? I am feeling better today. Yesterday I was very bad. <laughs> But I am feeling I am feeling better now. Thank you. Okay, I'm so glad to hear that. Yes. Yeah. So I uh, it's because I, I I went to the dentist and I got one of my teeth removed and I was in a lot of pain yesterday. I estaba retorciendo me But I I feel better now. I feel better today. That is a painful. It's a very painful thing. Yes, but I feel better now. I feel a okay. lot better. I had the chance to rest yesterday and today, so I feel much better today. Huh. Okay, so, uh, well, but for me, it's a great happiness to have you here. And I hope that we're going to have a very nice class. Well, I sent you a picture on the group because we were going to use it right, about curious family traditions that we have. Do you have any special tradition in your family, something that you do in very specific ways? So we're going to be talking about that during the class, right? You are going to be expressing and sharing some of the things that you do with your family on a special occasions, okay? So welcome to all the ones that are connecting. Tell me, how was your weekend? What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Who's up? No, 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 nobody did anything. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> How sad, como I, I work during the whole week. <laughs> I work and work and work all the week. Oh, no. you have uh, so much working. Yeah, it's because, I mean, the main thing at the academy is on Saturday and Sunday, right? Uh -huh. el, el, la afluencia más grande de alumnos en la academia de trabajo es el sábado y el domingo. So, and I have to take care of the teachers, the students, the place, the everything, so... It is a big responsibility. So I have to be there on Saturday and on Sunday. But it's good. There is no traffic. It's very nice. I I do like five minutes from my work to my house. So it is it is nice. That's a good part. You enjoy. You enjoy your job. I do. I do enjoy my job. I love it. That is nice. Yeah. But to be honest, I enjoy more this one. Mm, thank because, you very much. Because I can teach here and there, I don't teach. I just mm. administer everything. Okay. So I like this one. What about you? Did you sleep on the weekend? Did you go to the beach? Did you eat something delicious? Did you visit family? What did you do? I will I used go to work with the church. Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay. Eduardo. Ah, Eduardo, Abel, Okay, Eduardo first and then Edgar. Um, well, in my case, I received classes this Saturday. Uh -huh. On Saturday? On Saturday. And then Sunday, on Sunday, I just relax. I just relax, day. you say. All the day, right? Yes. <laughs> that was so nice. Edgar, tell me. Okay, on, on weekends, especially on Sunday, I used to go to the church. First of all, I got to the mass, and then I have to receive like classes for cate catechumen. I don't know how to say it. Well, I don't really know that one too as well, but let me find it. 
So you you teach the classes or you receive the classes? No, I, I, I receive with them. I'm going to be a godfather for ah, a child. Ah, that's so nice. Yes. Ah, that's a huge responsibility. That is a huge one. Yeah, yeah. Don't be one of these grandfathers, that the good father that it's only on the picture and then you never see it again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, how do you remember your godfather on the picture? <laughs> okay, I good. Never, I never seen him again. <laughs> I never seen. I have never seen him again. Yeah, it's it, so you have to be very, very uh, do a very good job there. Okay, okay. as a as a godfather. Good. Okay. Let's see. Gabriela, what did you do on the weekend? I just went uh, to church and I went to practice guitar with the with some friends. Oh, how nice. You practice guitar. So beautiful. Alejandra, how was your weekend? Uh, um, my weekend, in, I, was, I went to the stadium at oh. night. Oh, nice. Yes. What What did you go and watch? Uh, the partido? How do you uh -huh. say the match? The match with FAS and Alianza. Ah, the Alianza and FAS match, you say? Yes. Oh. And on uh -huh. I rest all the day. <laughs> you rested all day. Good. For, the, for Edgar Catecumen, it's the same in English and Spanish. Catecumen classes, right? It's the same. Cecilia, what did you do on the weekend? I teach her uh, on Saturday. I went to care of my mom all day. And Sunday morning, I went to the church and then I rest. You rest. And watched movies. Hey, <laughs> how beautiful. What movie did you watch? I watched... Um, um, I don't remember the name, uh, one of them, but the other was uh, Mortal Kombat. Well, what a good movie. That's yeah. a very good movie. Thank you very much. I remember for when my son plays that, that game. Yeah, that's a very good game. I yeah. still play it sometimes. It's pretty really? awesome. Yeah, I, we do have one of these very old game consoles that it's very yeah, good it's to play. Contra in Mortal Kombat. Yes. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Thank you, Ceci. Thank you for sharing. You. And last but not least, I'm going to ask uh, Jancy, what did you do on the weekend? In the Saturday, I went. Uh, how do you say me better? Is is say better? We. We went uh, to meeting uh -huh. uh, of my son. Okay. And the Sunday I went, I went uh, the Paisnal oh, uh, to the uh -huh. commemoration uh -huh. of the how do you say padre uh, uh, cura cura a uh, sacerdote a priest sacerdote how do you say sacerdote priest. in English? Priest. Priest, okay, commemoration of Rutilio's, Rutilio's priest. Oh, yes, it's true, for sure. Hey, what a nice weekend you had. So you say, on Saturday, I did this and this. And on Sunday, I went to this and this. We, we have this problem that you say, the Saturday, the Sunday, right? You say, like, on Saturday, I did this and this and this. On Sunday, mm -hmm. I did this and that. So you say, you can say on Saturday morning, on Saturday afternoon, on Saturday evening, Saturday night, right? So you can make the division of the weekend. Very good. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay. Thank you, about, sure. thank you Jancy, about all the things that you did on your weekend. So I shared this uh, image with all of you about interesting customs. As Salvadorians, we have a lot of different traditions. What is a very common custom that we have in our country when you are meeting someone new? That you say, ah, no, that's a tradition, people. Here in El Salvador, everybody does it. Cuando están conociendo a alguien. 
que es como lo más común que se hace. When you are meeting a new person. What is a very common thing that happens? They ask for your WhatsApp number. <laughs> they ask for your WhatsApp number. Aha. Uh -huh. And once they have your WhatsApp number, at the beginning of the relationship, what happens? You chat 24-7. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Did you eat breakfast? I guess me too. Pupusas, me too. Oh, I love pupusas. And then you start, and so like, and then you put curtido on it. No, I, I don't like curtido either. And then you, you talk about everything, everything and everything. And what is the second part after all this chatting and everything? What is a custom that we have? What is something that you say, ah, later on, we're going to do this? Maybe they go to the movie. They go to the movies or Remember when you were dating? They go to the eat a restaurant. They, they go to eat uh, at a restaurant, right? Remember when you were dating? Go for a coffee. Or you go for a coffee, right? You go to a coffee shop. Good. You go to a restaurant or you go to a coffee shop. And after that, you go again and again and again and again, right? You go to Kentucky, to Pollo Campero, to Burger King, <laughs> to all these different places, right? Un icono entre los dos. Ay, vaya, mi amor. <laughs> then you do it. Okay. Vos las papas y yo la hamburguesa. Oh. And at the beginning, right? And later on. Tacaño. <laughs> so, you go to a restaurant. After that, what do you do? You get married. No, right? Go to know the family. Aha, uh -huh. you meet their families, right? Maybe but do you do you take the person to your family in every relationship? Or once you know that it's something serious? When is someone important, I think. <laughs> when is someone important, right? When is someone important? I think when the relationship is serious, you have to take them to your family, right? Because here in El Salvador, if you take it to the house, it's like, ah, they are going to get married. And then, y el novio, tío. Ya, ya no hay, ya no, se acabó. So you need to, to go and meet their family. And then you can continue your relationship, right? Is it a tradition here in El Salvador to take serenades to your girlfriend or boyfriend? Serenades, you know what's a serenade? Serenata. Exactly like that. Chan, in El Salvador is not common uh, between uh, 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 boyfriend and girlfriend, but um, uh, in my neighborhood, uh, people um, custom, a custom. It's a custom. It's a custom uh, bring serenade to uh, his or her mother, as for example. Okay, that's very good, right? For Mother's Day, it's for, very common. For, ver for birthday or in the Mother's Day. Okay, for birthdays, Mother's Day, or for the anniversary as well, right? Yeah, exactly. For the anniversary, it's very popular as well. Excellent. So those are traditional customs, but this is about dating, right? Dating, sweethearts and everything. So uh, I think Mayra, okay, Mayrita, where are you? Let me see. I have, I need, okay, Mayra, there you go. Hola, muy buenas noches, estimados estudiantes y mis. Muchísimas gracias por el espacio. El comento, ¿verdad? Va a ser breve el motivo por el cual yo estoy acá. Soy parte del equipo administrativo de inglés corporativo. Les voy a estar haciendo un atento recordatorio en este momento para que ustedes lo puedan tener en cuenta. Ok. Primero es que ustedes deben de compartir el comprobante de manual por medio del grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan hacer válida su reinscripción. 
en referencia a su reinscripción. Recordarles, por favor, formularios listos eh, que los puedan enviar, ya sea que se los manden por privado a Flor o a Paola, que son los dos gestores que les están dando seguimiento. Y por favor, las notas de plataforma, recordarles eh, que deben de trabajar la plataforma si es posible a diario para que no se nos vayan atrasando. En el grupo de WhatsApp les van enviando cómo es el seguimiento que deben de estarle dando, por qué parte deben de ir, por qué sección. Si tienen dudas, preguntas, pueden hacerlas por medio del grupo de WhatsApp. La MIS está también disponible para poder apoyarles. Y cualquier cosita, pues nosotros también como personal administrativo. Entonces, este es mi atento recordatorio. De nuevo, se los repito, el comprobante de manual listo, documentos de reinscripción y las notitas de plataforma. Por favor, estar pendientes. Eh, recordarles, sin el comprobante de manual no le van a ser efectiva la reinscripción. Y para la reinscripción necesitamos el formulario. Así que, estimados, eso ha sido todo de mi parte. Muchísimas gracias, Miss, por el espacio. Y cualquier cosita, pues, estamos ahí atentos. Muchísimas gracias. Uh, gracias, Mayra. Eh, quizás solo pedirle, si me hace el favor de compartirme quiénes son los que están pendientes de manual para darle un poquito de seguimiento. Ok, perfecto, Miss. El día gracias. de mañana le van a estar apoyando con el dato para poder okay. estar pendientes. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, gracias. Mayra. Gracias. Buenas noches. Bueno. Okay, my dear students, remember, right? We have been working a lot on this one. And I know you have been uh, delivering this, right? I have been pushing you like a mother, right? Ya enviaste el comprobante, ya lo enviaste. <laughs> so it's important that you send it, okay? And also, the uh, please sign in for the next module because the sooner that you do it, the better, right? Tam en mientras más pronto lo hagan, es mucho mejor y más rápido el proceso para iniciar el siguiente módulo. Así que, Porfa, 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 enviémoslo pronto, enviémoslo rápido. Ok, so my dear class, remember that. Ok, si alguien todavía no lo ha enviado, eh, recuerden enviar el comprobante el día de mañana, a primera hora, y también llenar el formulario de reingreso para que usted asegure su cupo para el siguiente módulo. Ok, so that's very important. And we were talking about traditions, right? Good. So, it's a tradition in El Salvador to send the to send the documents to Inglés Corporativo. No, that's another thing. Okay, una tradición aquí de Inglés Corporativo. Estarles recordando acerca de sus documentos. I'm kidding, kids. Well, so what is a family tradition that you have? What do you do in your family that makes it unique? That you say, ah, no, my family, we always do this for Christmas. We always do this for Mother's Day. We always do this for the birthday. So. You know, it is a tradition in my family to play cepillín in the morning at 4 a.m. in the day of your birthday. But not in a very nice and soft song. No, it's a song that all the neighborhood is going to listen, right? So my mother plays cepillín at 4 in the morning on the day of your birthday in very loud music, people. Not like, estas son las mañanitas, no. It was like, estas son las mañanitas. At four in the morning, people, all the neighborhood knew that your birthday was that day. Si no se entera la colonia, que no se entere nadie, they say. So it was like cepillín al volumen 100 ahí. And that was, that's a tradition. And I do it with my song, and I know my song is going to do it with his kids and, and everything. So that's a tradition that we have. So, and in the morning, at four in the morning, you're like, thank you, opening gifts and eating cake and everything at four in the morning. So that's a family tradition that we have. And for Christmas, my sister always cook the same salad for Christmas. So we never have Christmas without my sister's salads. So that's another tradition that we have. What are the traditions that you have in your family? What specific things do you do with them? Maybe it's not for birthdays. Maybe it's for Saturdays, for Sundays, that you say like, no, all my family and I go to eat pupusas on Saturday. And that's a tradition, right? That's a rule. Or that you say like, no, we eat tamales on Sunday, teacher. 
So that's another tradition that you might have. What are your traditions? Share them with your groups, okay? I am going to send them to working groups and you are going to share that with your team. Okay, vamos a compartir cuáles son esas tradiciones que hacen en su familia tan única. Okay, in the little group. We're going to have around seven minutes to do this. Let's go to the groups and let's talk. Accept your invitation. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I have groups of four. Thank you very much. Accept my invitations to go to the groups. Thank you, my dear team. Okay, eh, Joanita, no le digo la invitación al grupo. Me, es, me regresó, Ticha. Okay. I will. There you go. And someone? Okay, Samuel, you can accept the invitation and you can go and listen to the answers of your friends. Okay, let me just send you the invitation again. You can just go as a listener, don't worry. Okay, so let me know when you can accept the invitation. Perfect. Okay, so let's go and check how students are working in the different groups. Uh, like a religion. Um, in, in Christmas, uh, in Christmas, uh, we meet everyone. The, we try to be meeting uh, at at uh, how do you say después before after after, after sorry after a uh, 12 so all the night we have a lot of uh, angry because we eat uh, after 12 uh, Always, 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 uh, we have, I don't know what <laughs> we we have that tradition, but all the family know uh, that uh, we have to eat something to oh, wow. to wait at uh, 12 p.m. Uh, uh, to eat a lot of uh, joy. Unidos, teacher? Uh, together, to eat together. Uh, to eat together. So uh, if we 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 was no we we were mm -hmm. and in other in, in other uh, I don't know maybe is it uh, some friend or something like that we know uh, that at twelve we have to do we have to to eat again to, to uh, yes uh, <laughs> to have in the house because it's the time to eat. It's a tradition, right? Yes. So, and if you don't eat anything, you are going to be hungry. A lot. Hung yes. Okay. Yes. You say, I am going to be really hungry. Really hungry. Yes. Okay? Because if you say, I am going to have a lot of hungry, it's like it like a, trans a translation from Spanish, right? Voy a tener yes. mucha hambre. But in English, you cannot say, tengo mucha hambre. So you say, you say I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. And angry is what happens when you are hungry. Yeah. So if you are hungry, you are angry. So... <laughs> it's true. 
So mm -hmm. that that's the only thing. Okay, good. You, keep keep sharing. Keep sharing. I will check on the okay. next loop. Okay. Thank continue, you. Continue. Continue. Okay. Uncle. That's all. Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Traditions that you have. What are your traditions? Sandrita, Alejandra, Joanita. My tradition is every weekend I we visit my relatives or mom's house. Mother's house. So you visit your mother's house every weekend? Yes. Does she live? Sorry, does she live close to you? What? Does your mother live close to you? I mean, her house is close to oh. your house? No. Uh, I, li I live in Ilopango. My mother live, 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 lives uh -huh. in San Martin. Oh, okay. So, but it's not that far. So you can travel and visit. So yes, that's your tradition. What about the rest? Uh, in my case, my family tradition. We don't have many traditions, but uh, in Christmas or in the birthdays, we meet. We met in the house in the in my father's house, and we celebrate all the parties in his house. Okay, so I guess that is the biggest house, right? Yes. And yeah, that's why we choose the biggest house to get together because everybody like and it is it is so uh, like curious. El, I mean, El Salvador has these big family gatherings on which is like only the family, but only the family is like 70 people. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, no, 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 no friends or anything, only the family. No, like only the family was 100 people in my wedding. <laughs> yeah, I, we I are, uh -huh. We are a uh, very small family. Now you are a small family. That's yeah. so nice, right? Yeah, well, in my case, only my, my father has 10 brothers and sisters. <laughs> so <laughs> you can imagine the cousins, you can imagine the niece, the nephew. So it's like a huge thing. So that's good. Continue sharing. If someone is missing, si alguien falta, pues terminemos de compartir because we have two minutes left. Okay. Continue, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you finish sharing? ¿Ya terminaron de compartir? Uh, yes, I think. What is a family tradition that you have? Tell me. Um, in my case, we go to eat pupusas every Saturday. Oh, okay. You go to eat pupusas every Saturday. That's a beautiful yeah. tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another one? Another thing that you do in this group? Uh, in, in my case, sir, when sometimes... Okay. Ay, perdí a César. Se le fue esa conexión. Y yo was like, what? Y nos dejó a medias aquí del, del gossip. Hey, come on. Hey, lo tenemos de vuelta. César, lo perdí. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Uh, with my family, sometimes we go to the beach. Oh, you go to the beach. When? What days? Yeah. And uh, always before the Holy Week, oh. yesterday. Oh, you went yesterday. How nice. I envy you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, but what about the background? What do you have at the background? Is it an oven? Is it an oven that you have atrás ahí the de, de, de background? Yeah. Oh. Because it, it, this, this, this place is very quiet to, to receive my classes. And do you have yeah. a bakery or something? Yeah, my brother. Oh, okay. Good, good. I have always had that question, right? Yeah, I saw them. Yo los había visto, pero tenía como esa duda. Así como, sí, no, sí, no. Okay, that's nice. 
Ok, aquí. ¿Cuántos dólares de pago aquí? <ríe> Levanta la mano. Ya, yeah, a domicilio. Yeah, a few but dollars. A few dollars here for the class. Thank you. Thank you, Cesar. So your tradition is to go to the beach before Holy Week. Okay, so we're going to go back to the main room right now to share with everybody. Let's go back. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I have exactly the same thing as Raúl has. Yo también tengo ese mueble que tiene Raúl ahí. <laughs> yeah, el mueble, el mueble. Ay, negro. yo lo voy a ocultar. <laughs> no, that's okay. Gracias a él para que nos provee esos lugares. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's a good thing. useful, teacher. It is They indeed. are very useful. They are very useful, indeed. Yeah. Ah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, they are they are yeah, very the useful. Teacher, uh, we were uh, we was we was uh, talking about our costume with media. Um, uh, media uh, told me uh, that uh, that she has a, a very nice uh, costume with your family. Uh, they have some uh, very nice tradition uh, with with the when uh, when her grandmother was uh, was uh, was uh, live Alive. but now his grandmother uh, uh, is dying but she remembered uh, that when her grandmother was uh, was uh, alive, alive teacher. Alive. Alive. Uh -huh. When when her grandmother uh, was alive, uh, they were uh, go uh, uh, to the park uh, where uh, they went uh, the the monument Salvador del Mundo. And they were very happy because they they love him and love him with her brother, and, uh, we, and but now uh, the, the the things are very different because her grandmother was dying. Uh, this was the uh, she she has uh, tell us. Okay, that's what Nidia shared. Thank you, Raul, for sharing what Nidia was saying. When you say like, we was, you say, we were talking. We were talking about this and this, right? We were talking about, and the traditions. Uh, yeah, many traditions change, for example, because in the past we used to do many things with our relatives. And then now that it's the future, like the changes with your family, the traditions change. But what is the purpose of these traditions to keep them through the past of the generations, right? I remember that all the things that we used to do at home with my brothers and sisters, I tried to do them with my song. So we keep the, the tradition going, right? Even if it's like, I know, es que ya los tiempos cambian. But the thing is that you have to make it continue, right? You are the ones who need to keep the uh, traditions alive, okay? And when you talk about the relatives who are not anymore like with us, you say, when my mother was alive, when my sister was alive, when my grandmother was alive, okay? So, and now we say like, and now she is, uh, when you talk about, for example, I remember that I used to go to Parque Cucatlán with my dog, but now he uh, is dead, you say. You don't say he is dying, he is dead, right? So that is something, that we need to remember when we talk about the past, the present, right? When we make this contrast. And this is a very good thing because this is what we are going to keep talking about. The next topic that comes to us in the book is time contrast. The time contrast is the difference in times when we speak, when we talk about past, present, and future. 
right? That's why I have you talking about family traditions because you were using the uh, information about the past, the things that you used to do or the things that you do in these days, in the present. Mm -hmm. And for sure, the future is the things that we are going to do later on in time. So what is something that you used to do when you were a kid? That you say, I know that I used to do that every day. Algo que hacíamos a diario cuando estábamos chiquitos o más jóvenes. Think about it. I used to watch a lot of television. Cartoons and series and soap operas, whatever, right? I used to watch a lot of television. What is something that you used to do when you were kids? I used to play on the street with my neighborhood. Okay, I used to play it on the street with my neighbors. Good. What else? What did you used to do when, when you were? I used to hear music and TV. I used to listen. I used to uh, listen. Okay. Okay. MTV music. Yes. That was the best I time. Used to, I used to visit my um, grandparents. I used to visit my grandparents. Elgar? I used to play hide, hide and seek. Hide and seek. Okay, yeah. Good. I used to play hide and seek. I used to visit my grandparents. I used to play on the street. What else? I used to play on the street uh, every, every night. Así. Okay, I used to play in the street every night. Good, pero no yeah. escondelero. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I I played uh, baseball, batear. Okay, I softball in that case. Softball. softball. Good, yes. Eduardo. I remember that I used to listen music with the Sony Ericsson of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <woo. laughs> hey, but those were very good cell phones, right? Cinco días con la misma batería. Definitely. That was a very good thing, right? Cargaste el teléfono el lunes pasado. <laughs> and it is still alive. Right? And these ones, <laughs> if you don't charge it like every single day, you don't have a battery. Okay. What is something that you used to do in the past, but you don't do anymore? For example, I remember that I was in a dance group when I was younger, but now I don't do it anymore. What is something that you used to do before, but you don't do anymore? I used to watch MTV, but I don't watch MTV anymore. What about you? Ever? Yeah, when I was in um, high school, I used to went to the cinema every weekend. Okay. Every maybe twice a week. Uh huh. But I don't do it anymore because but... I don't have enough time. <laughs> yes, you used to go to the movies yeah. two or three times a week, but now yeah. you don't do it anymore. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the last time that I went to the movies. Jenny, tell me. When I was a child. Child, I used to be part of the musical band. But now? But now, no, because, but now not because I'm an adult and a, <laughs> and a worker. <laughs> and I am an adult, right? What a terrible description. I am an adult now. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Sí, ya la adultez. Ya no me lo permite. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's like, necesitamos un adulto. Ah, yo soy el adulto, perdón. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> que alguien traiga un adulto. It is, it is a difficult thing when you say, I am the adult now. But, but I'm waiting for uh, my kids to uh, grow up <laughs> in, order, in order to see when uh, he... Uh, could be part of the musical band. <laughs> oh, that's so nice, right? When when he takes your turn, right? And as part of yeah. the musical band. <laughs> Eva, were you going to say something? I saw your little hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I think the majority of us can think that 
when we were young, when we were younger, we used to have more energy. <laughs> inclusive, <laughs> inclusive if the majority of us uh, are in our twenties or thirties. But if you compare your energy level now okay. and your energy level some years ago, now is lower. Yeah, indeed, <laughs> it's so terrible, right? You need some time to charge in the morning, right? To load, right? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Cargando. <laughs> in the morning when you wake up and you just exist for a moment. Yeah, you, you wake up and you're looking for a sign now. <laughs> yeah, you are looking for a sandal there to look at. <laughs> it's so sad. Thank you, Ever. Yeah, that is a, a very nice drop of reality. Yeah, we, we used to be very energetic, but now... We are not energetic anymore. But it was a very good contrast, the one that Jenny shared, right? I used to be part of the music group. I am not part of the group right now, but I want my kids to be part of the group in the future. So in this case, we have the three different cases, past, present, and future, right? You say like, I was part of the dance group when I was younger. I am not part of the dance group anymore, but I know my song, will be part of all the dance groups in the school because he loves to participate, right? He loves to dance and to be performing and everything. And I said, I was like that. So that is the time contrast, right? Past, present, and future. Can you see, can you spot the three different tenses on the conversation that I am showing? Can you spot three different sentences, past, present, and future, in this conversation? Have you identified? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. A few years ago. What is that? When you say past, past, right? A few years ago. A few years ago, not many people live here. Anyone in the present? But the population is growing so fast these days. The population is growing so fast these days. What about a future tense? Um, they are going to build a shopping mall. They are going to build a shopping mall. Any other one in past? And the next one, soon there will be just malls and parking lots. Okay, soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That is future, right? Any other one in past? Remember, we used to buy candies at that little grocery store. Remember how we used to buy candies? Why? Very good. Present? They now, now, it's a multiplex multiplex cinema. Cinema. now it's a multiplex cinema. Any other one in present? Okay. They are they are tearing down or high school. That's present, right? And this one, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner that is present. So the first one. This neighborhood sure has changed. Do you think this is present, past, or future? Present. It's present, it's present right? Present. It is present because it says this neighborhood sure has changed. De veras que ha cambiado el barrio, right? So uh, everyone has a car. This is present, past, or future? Present. 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 It's present, right? Because everyone has a car. What about this one? 50 years ago. Past. It's past, right? 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. What about the next one? Nowadays, they drive. Present. Present. It's present, right? What is something that you can spot about the present and the past sentences? Hay algo que las identifica. What is it? Nowadays. Uh, the, the, verb, time, the, the, ta the time expressions. The time expressions, yeah. right? The time expressions. A few years ago, 50 years ago, the last year, no nowadays, way. right? And you have a 
when we were younger, when we were in high school, right? Those are time expressions. And they tell you, what are you talking about? When you say nowadays, it's present. In the past, for sure, it's past, right? Last year, 50 years ago, a few years ago, that is past, right? And you say like in the future, in two years now, in the next five years to come, so those are future expressions. So that is the one that tells you what tense are you using to talk about. So let's practice a little bit on the conversation. And this is the real English, right? You don't always talk in present. You don't always talk in past. You always kind of mix the different things when you talk. Okay, esta es una conversación real que pasa en nuestro día a día. Porque no solo vamos a hablar en pasado, no solo vamos a hablar en progresivo, no solo vamos a hablar en, en, en presente, perfecto, cuando estemos hablando. Cuando tenemos una conversación normal, we mix the tenses, right? It's like, sí, fíjate que ahora que iba para el trabajo y que no sé qué, y mañana tengo que hacer esto, que no sé qué, y ahora en la tarde tengo que hacer esto, y ahorita ando en esto y esto. So that's a normal conversation. You mix the tenses. So this is something that you normally use in a normal conversation. So let's read it. I I will ask uh, Ever and Nidia. Can you help me to read it, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, this neighborhood uh, sure has changed. Change. 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 I know a few years ago, not many people live here, but the population is growing so fast this day. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're there, though our high school. They're going to build, 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 build a shopping mall. Uh, so there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Very good job. Thank you, Nidia. Thank you. Okay. Very good job. So you say, this neighborhood sure has changed, right? Change with ED, right? Change. I know you say a few years ago, not many people lived here, lived, right? Lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they are tearing down our high school. They're just, they are going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. Nowadays, they drive, okay? Practice the conversation on your own. Ahí con el micrófono apagado, practiquen la conversación. And I'm going to call the attendance and then we're going to practice, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to pause it, okay? And I'm going to call the attendance. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. La pueden seguir practicando ahí con su micrófono apagado. Y ahorita vuelvo para que la practiquemos todas. I'm going to call the attendance now. Let me see. Practice, practice, practice the conversation, ahí. Eh? Sigan la practicando. And here I go. And read the conversation. And here I go. Okay. Eh, Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Angel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Cecilia de Los Angeles. Here, teacher. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Eduardo Jose. Present. Thank you. Elvira Lorenzo. Present teacher. Ever Ernesto. I'm here teacher. 
Gabriela Michelle. Present. Isabel. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Me, teacher. Present. Joana Yesenia. Present, teacher. Jose Daniel. Jose Daniel. Lo acabo de ver aquí. Ahí estamos. Eh, Carla Fabiola. Carlita. Carla Fabiola. Carla Fabiola. Ok. We don't have Carlita today. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nidia Esmeralda. Raúl Present de Jesús. Thank you. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Ok, Ever, dígame. Uh, teacher, I have a question. But yes. I think I, I, I could make it at the end. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. I will okay. finish. Reina, okay. Uh, Ruth Elizabeth? Present. Samuel Isaac? Present. Sandra Leticia? Present, teacher. And Jancy? Present, teacher. Thank you very much. I am going to go back to the conversation and to the presentation. Me? Sorry, sorry, sorry. And me, who, 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 who? Cesar Guadalupe. <gasps> sorry, didn't I call you? Oh my God. Let me see. Ya ven, por eso no me enamoro yo. Cesar Guadalupe. Yes, present, you say. Ah, Cecilia. Hay, ya, hay varios ahí en el chat que dice presente. Veamos quiénes son. Chan, chan, chan. Edson Stanley. Yeah, I call you Edson, but you didn't answer. Samuel Isaac. I call you as well. Samuel, sí, le dije Samuelito. But is it like present teacher? Jose Daniel, present. There you go. Yes, Jose Daniel. I, I got you there. Let's see, Edson, Jose Daniel, Samuel, yes, I got you there. Los únicos que me faltaron fue eh, Carlita Fabiola, eh, Miguel y Rey. Okay, for all the ones, I got your attendance. A todos los demás, ahí los tengo marcados y anotados. There you go. Let's work on the conversation. Questions? Yes, Ever, what was your question? Question. Um, teacher, sorry, but the last week I couldn't be in a class mm -hmm. and I tried to look it on YouTube, uh -huh. but I couldn't find it. I just oh. find a YouTube channel channel called Inglés Corporativo, but our classes wasn't there. Okay. The it class just... the class is on the list that you got on the on the email at the beginning. Cuando inician el curso, reciben un correo donde va el, el link de WhatsApp, el link de, eh, el de la clase y ahí va también el link de, las, de los videos. Se lo voy a compartir para que lo puedan tener eh, ahí en el, en el acceso porque es una lista específica. Okay. okay. I, will you, I will share it with you. Don't worry. Okay. So, eh, let's practice. I am going to be Matt and all of you are Tania. Okay. Start. This neighborhood, this neighborhood has changed. Okay, Edgar is representing the team. Class, everybody, one, two, three. This neighborhood has changed. Okay, but now you are you are like admired because of that. You are like this neighborhood sure has changed. Okay, go ahead, one, two, three. This neighborhood sure has changed. Okay, como cuando llegan a aquel pueblo donde era de tierra y hoy ya es pavimentado. Like, oh, wow, this neighborhood sure has changed, right? I know a few oh. years ago, not many people live here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be right there. 
Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah. 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 In town, high school, in school, a shopping mall, on their parking lots. Parking lots. Ok, imagínense que de verdad les estuvieran votando la escuela y se like, yeah, and they are tearing down our high school. They are going to build a shopping mall. Soon, there will be just malls and parking lots. Uh -huh. So, but the, with the feeling, with the feeling, ok. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're in down high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. parking lots. Malls and parking lots. I love, I love Alejandro. It's like, soon there will be only shopping malls and parking lots. You feel, you felt the conversation. I love that. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, all this was Monte. No, I'm kidding. 50 years ago, people <laughs> walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. <laughs> that's that's something that they do. Like, do you remember? Antes, todo esto era finca. Oh my God. Yeah. ¿Cuántos años tengo? Yeah, it's true. Oh my God. I remember that. So very good. So that's the important thing. Like when you use this type type of contrast, right? You have to mark when you are talking in past, when you are talking in present, when you are talking in future, right? So and you mark it. You feel you feel the feeling of the conversation. Now I am going to start and you continue. You know, this neighborhood sure has changed people. I know. I know. I know. No, years ago. Years ago. No, 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 years ago. No, 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 no. But the population is growing so fast. So fast that day. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that you are talking on the bus. Imagine that you are talking on the bus. It's like, qué calor, vea. Así como ha cambiado el clima, right? And then you start having this conversation. You put the feeling of that. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it seems like there is a construction site on every corner. Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they are tearing down our high school. They are going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's that because every young car 15 years ago, people know what they still Now they drive, right? Now, now they, drive. they drive, right? So we have the contrast between past, present, and future, right? A few years ago, not many people live here. That's in the past, right? People used to shop at the grocery stores. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere, right? These days, the population is growing so fast. Today, people shop at the supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. And in the future, soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. So you have the three contrasts. A few years ago, not many people live here. These days, the, the population is growing so fast. And soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. So you have the three forms of the contrast of the time, right? So we are going to be working a little bit more on this tomorrow. But I am just going to leave this one as the last slide for the time expressions for the three different tenses, right? For the past tense, what phrases can you use? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. When I was a kid. When I was a child. When I was in school. When I was in school. In the 90s. In the 90s. And a few years ago. A few years ago. A few years ago. Very good. And what about, let me just make it this one. In the present time, present what time. can you use? 
now, now today, today, in this day, this day, this day, day, in, day in the present, the day, in the present. Day, in the present. What about for the future? What expressions can you use? In the, in the future, future, 20 years, in 20 years, in 20 years, 20 years, five, five years, years, five years, years next, next year, year next so, year, so, so, soon, so, soon, 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 soon. So here I have some ex some examples of these ones. People didn't have cell phones. So what time expression can you use to complete this sentence? People didn't have cell phones. In the 90s. In the 90s, in the 90s people, people didn't, didn't have, cell, have phones. cell phones. People walk everywhere. In the past. In the past. In the, in the past. past. In the past. People use taxis more. 10 years ago? 10, Ten years, years ago. ago. Very good. What about people work from home? Nowadays. Now. Nowadays. Very good. We will work only from Ten home. Days. We Ten will years work. Ago. No, no, no. We in will work in the present. Five years. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right. In five years. Right. In five years, we will work only from home. So we are going to be using this type of expressions for tomorrow class. So please take a look at the different time expressions that we have for past, present, and future, because we are going to use them, right? For you to contrast things. So bring some information about things that happened in the past, how are things in the present, and how do you think they are going to be in the future? You can contrast traffic, work, education, I don't know, life in general, in the past, in the present, and in the future. So try to create some sentences for you to contrast, okay? Podemos contrastar diferentes cosas, la educación, el tráfico, la calidad de vida. Todo. So bring your examples for tomorrow about how was in the past, how is in the present, and how do you think it's going to be in the future, okay? So be ready with that. I'm going to share this little image with you. Le puedo enviar esta imagen para que tengan una idea de cómo van las oraciones, ¿ok? So, okay. Thank you, teacher. that will be Thank for you. tomorrow. Have a beautiful night, and I am going to see you tomorrow, my dear students, for your next class. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.